Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links, all that stuff. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, so here we go. We are working on the editor state as earlier as we did in the last video. Uh, we made the sidebar on the side and basically it's just a little rectangle shape. Um, where you can't really, if you put your mouse there, you can't really put down tiles and stuff. And there are buttons there and all that. So I thought we'd just fix this little button we have um, in for the sidebar. So if we go into GUI, I'm pretty sure at the bottom here, we define that for the texture selector. Where is it? Um, GUI.CPP, I think at the bottom, I do create the button for it. Uh, do create it here, right? Right here? Okay, right here. All right, so I just want to fix this. I just want to make sure it looks nice and tidy. So uh, I'm going to... Uh, this is just some bullshit-ass color. Let's do 200. 200. Okay, this is the... Uh, there we go. And I'm 50 for the active. All right. And that should be good. I think this is the outline color, pretty sure. But we'll see how that looks. The text, probably a little smaller here. Maybe make it 24. Uh, and then we have 50-50, which is good. Let me just run this and see. And then I'm going to start off the, uh, what do you call it? The saving and the loading. So we're going to create some some backend stuff for that. Just, just some simple stuff. 2,000 looks pretty crazy. I don't think we need 2,000. Uh, but we'll see how that looks anyway. Shouldn't be a problem. All right, so there we go. That's the button right there. It doesn't really look that nice, but and it's not that centered. So there's, these are things you can you can fix if you want. I guess I guess this is the text color. Uh, so just make that two five five all over. Just white, totally white. Doesn't really matter. Let's make a little smaller as well. Let's make it 16 and then the button size is fine. Also, I'm going to set the the bounds to I'm pretty sure that's where uh, set fill color set position offset. I'm going to set the offset to about 100. All right, put it right there and then that should be fine so that should look good next time we start up but I'm not gonna start it up right now what we want to do is we want to create some saving and loading functionality in the tile map so we're gonna get started with that right now and I want to have kind of a basic saving and loading setup before we keep uh, moving forward uh, and then probably we're gonna make some enemy stuff and, and I might try to make some textures that we can use um, um, let's see save to file and then const std string file name file name all right and then we're going to do a load from file as well so load from file like that and then let's just define these here we go Once we have those defined, let's just go ahead in here and let's put them under functions right there. Boom. I want to make sure those are above, whoops, above that. So I just keep it all ordered and nice. Uh, add tile and stuff. Is that above as well? Add tile, remove tile. I'm just going to put that. Yeah, there we go. So, so that looks good. Uh, add tile, remove tile is above it. So I'm just going to go ahead and order that in as well. I don't know why I have it like this. Usually I keep everything ordered nicely. Um, there we go. All right. So save and load to file right there. So the first thing, the important part is going to be how we save it and what kind of a, uh, what kind of a structure we have here, right? Saves the the entire tile map tile man tile map to a text file 
format and then we'll create the format right here kind of just comment it in how it's going to be and with format i mean kind of what are we saving are we saving the tiles type are we saving the tiles uh texture um coordinate thingies uh, are we saving the tiles position and all that so basically what i want to save is i'm probably going to save the grid position all right i'm going to save the timeline. so first of all i'm going to save some basic stuff i'm going to save uh the size x and y i'm going to save the grid size okay so once we save that probably i'm going to save these i don't know why if it's necessary but we will save those and then we'll save the grid pos uh, of all tiles all right and then with that we're gonna save let's just say um let's just call it basic i don't know basic stuff and then we'll have the all tiles all right, so it's, some, it's good to have it like this, so you can know what is saved where, right? So size X, Y, grid size, grid position X, Y. Uh, then we're going to save the uh, int texture rect, texture rect X, Y with height. Um, so that's great. Uh, we might just save the X, Y of the texture rect because the width and the height will be from grid position shouldn't be any problems uh, you can choose to do it that way um, or any other way so let's just go ahead and go with that let's just try to save this whatever we have we'll try to save it so um, i'm going to go ahead and open a std of stream out file and i'm going to file name is what I'm gonna open it as what we could do is we could just do this and then if out file dot open file name all right if out file dot is open just the usual shit if it is open we'll do all the stuff else we'll just print out a else std c out we'll just do a c out we don't need to throw anything right now see out error tile map could not not save to file all right file name something like that and then we'll just say file uh, name new line like that so there you go cool good error message something like that um and then we'll just do out file dot close down here so no matter what we'll close it down that stream so if our file is open we're gonna have to print out all our stuff from the tile map to um to the file so i'm just gonna look at what tile map has so it has a grid size f a grid size u max size um the layers as well so we're gonna have to save the layers grid size layers um and then all the tiles and then we have the texture itself all right so we have the texture itself let's see how do we load that texture in tile sheet so we're gonna have to look at this where do we load the texture in we load the texture in right here okay so let's see std string file name or texture texture file so let's just call it texture file copy this shit right here and then we'll say text Texture file. Alright, and then we have to save that texture file. So std string texture file like that. Go back into the constructor and say right below here this texture file equals texture file like this. 
and then we will load it from the texture file like that and then we'll print it out file name texture file all right so there we go there we go uh, now we need to add the thingy here to the constructor as well where are you right here okay std string texture file all right so that should make it just fine now where do we create the right here so i'm just gonna paste that in here all right that's gonna be the texture file we use hopefully that will work uh and save it down so once we save that we should have the texture file to save to the file as well i want to make sure we do that so we don't have any problems so go back to save to file so layers texture file so i'm just going to go ahead and save the texture file um and that should be good that should be good all right so 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 that is good that's very nice uh let's save let's start saving so out file uh let's go ahead and say this grid size u all right so wait that is not the size that is just the grid size u new line this i think i need to do a two string as well um but what we could do no it shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem no we don't need a two string um out file i don't like to divide it up like this you don't really have to um you could just do it like this i'll do that because it makes more sense out this max size dot x a little space this max size dot y so that's how it's going to be the format and then we're going to do a new line new line uh, and then we keep putting stuff out so the uh, grid size u all right and then the layers this layers i should really copy paste just copy this part right here there you go no god damn it there you go all right <clears throat> and then once you do that layers is done uh, I want to do X, Y, grid size layers, texture file, this texture file, new line. Um, and then we're going to get into all of the tiles. So let me just do that. Hopefully that works for now. And then we're going to have to do all the tiles. So for a for loop now we're gonna have to go through all the goddamn whew, all the oh okay all right okay okay so we're gonna just copy this so we can iterate through everything and we're just gonna put it right in here so we're gonna iterate through all of these max size x max as well all the layers and then we're gonna we're gonna get all the uh, texture data texture thingy data so the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to have them all in a line like that. Uh, so out file. This map at boom, boom, boom. Uh, dot get. Then I'm going to have to make some get. Like a two string function. That. Uh, that gives me the tile. Um, let's see. Two string. We could overload this operator though. We could do that if we wanted to. Maybe that's good for this course type thing, just learning. So, but anyway, I'm just gonna comment that out. I'm just gonna print out some out file, maybe some random value. So, just to try it out. So x y the grid position. X y uh, texture rect. Maybe like this, right? And then it's gonna choose that texture rect from there, and then maybe a type, maybe a type uh, type um some like this uh, i don't know what i'm doing um and then a new line no we're not gonna have a new line we're just gonna have a little space after each tile like that 
Uh, so it's going to be a long thingy, thingy, thingy. So that's good. That's nice. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay. I think I think that's cool. So this is just going to be to test it out. Uh, I'm just going to write type. Yeah, type there. That's good. Let's try this. So, all right, we, we're good. We, we need, we have some time. Oh, this is a long video. But I know some of you like long videos, like my man, uh, Led Loaf. He likes long videos, so it shouldn't be a problem. Shout out to you, man. So there we go. Let's try this out. Um, how do we try it out? How do we try it out? Uh, save. Let's go in editor state. And we shall, we shall. Pause menu. Okay, add a goddamn button. I guess this is the position. So let me just say 1000 here and it's going to be safe. All right, safe. All right, all right. So we add that button and then we're going down to update, update buttons, update buttons. Where are you? There you go. Update all buttons. Okay, that's cool. Um, Update pause menu buttons. Here we go. All right. If pause menu is pressed. All right. All right. Is pause save. This tile map. Save to file. All right. And we're going to save it to file. Test dot. MP. We'll just call it. Uh, SWMP swag. Sw no. SLMP swag lord. MP map. All right, something like that. So let's just try this. Let's go ahead in here. Hopefully that should work. And I don't remember how pause menu works, but okay. Oh shit. All right. So we got a debug. Top map. No overloaded. What? Wait now. Wait now. It is the game say. Okay. Hold on. 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 Where are you? Top map. No editor state. Okay. Sorry about that. I gotta go all the way up here. Find that text file that I made. No, the text, the, the, the file path. And then we got to put that into game state as well. I don't know why game state has a time map. We don't really, really load it. But yeah, probably just for testing purposes. Anyways, run this. Let's see if everything works. And then we're good to go. And then we are good to go. Uh, editor. That works. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. It should be above. All right. So save. Quit. Quit. Let's go in a file here. Let's go in here. Let's see if it text. Oh, I said text. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter. Edit with notepad. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Uh, so here we go. 10, 10, 101 resources. That's the file name. And this is all the beautiful, beautiful stuff that we print in all our tiles. So that works. That works, guys and girls. That does work. And we can just remove that. And there you go. So saving is kind of working. Let's just do one last thing before we end it. Uh, and this video is it shouldn't be at 800. It should be at maybe 500 or something. So that should be fine. So we're just going to go ahead and save. I don't remember what this does. Um, oh, that's the text in it. Okay. So that, that should look fine. I'm not going to run it again, but that should look fine. But there you go, guys and girls. Thank you for watching. That's saving. In the next video, we'll look at loading. Uh, hopefully, we can try to get some stuff from tile try to make sure we can make a little function in here overload that uh, output function and uh, yeah go ahead and just save tiles uh, and then you can just update that function to save all the tiles and stuff but there you go thank you for watching check out the description box if you want all the cool stuff and yeah take care keep keep working hard keep learning and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye